In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KCl plus AgC2H3O2. This is potassium chloride. This is silver acetate. This is the acetate ion here. Sometimes you will see it written like this. It's really the same thing, just rearranged. We have the silver ion up front. Here we have it in the back. It's a little different. We'll use this one in this video. Again, it's the same thing. So let's first balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. And it's already balanced. We don't need to do anything with that. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So potassium compounds, chlorine, with a chloride ion, they're going to be soluble. They'll dissolve, break apart in their ions. Acetates are very soluble. You're usually cautious when you see silver about solubility. But with acetate, that's going to dissolve, break apart into its ions. We have another acetate here. That'll be aqueous. Silver chloride, though, this is insoluble. So when you have AgCl, that means it's insoluble. It'll be a precipitate in the reaction. So we just write S. It's a solid. It fell to the bottom of the test tube. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So on the periodic table, K, that's potassium. That is a 1 plus Cl, 1 minus. So we end up with K plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not do that right now, plus that chloride ion, plus Silver, it's a transition metal, but it's always one plus. And the whole acetate ion, the whole thing, is one minus. Kind of one you memorize or look up on a table of common polyatomic ions. So we have Ag plus. Then we have the acetate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. The product side, we have this plus minus here. So we'll have K plus, just like we had in the reactants, plus the acetate ion again. And then for the AgCl, since it's a solid, we're not going to split it apart. We keep solids together in net ionic equations. So this is our complete, our total ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So we have reactants and products. We have the potassium ion in the reactants and in the products. We have the acetate ion here in the reactants and here in the products. And what's left, this is going to be the net ionic equation for KCl plus AgC2H3O2. So I'll clean this up, put the signs in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for potassium chloride plus silver acetate. You can see charge is conserved. We have negative and positive. That gives us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero. And mass is conserved. We have silver here, chlorine here. So everything's balanced. Sometimes you will see the positive ion first. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. But maybe it looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for KCl plus AgC2H3O2. Thanks for watching.